Grease Pencil Quick Tips In Sculpt Mode, you can toggle the same selection modes like in Edit Mode. If you don't have any of these selected, the brushes will work normally. Let's say you want to sculpt only certain parts of your drawing. First, toggle one of these selection modes on. Then you can use C for circle select a few points. Then you can press L to select linked. Or you can also select group that are on the same layer or have the same material. Shortcut for this is Shift G. Check out this selection menu for more options. Shortcut for deselecting everything is Alt A. You can also hop into edit mode and select materials with a click of a button and hop back to sculpt mode. Just make sure you have one of these selection modes enabled. There is also an option to lock layers or materials. Both of them have an option to lock unused or inactive ones, so you can really find the workflow that works for you. Now you can easily sculpt any area like you want. Oh look, I'm a pancake! <laughs> I'm sorry. Shortcuts for changing the brush size is F and changing the brush strength is Shift F, same as draw mode. Multiframe editing works the same as the other modes. You select a bunch of keyframes and they appear at the canvas at the same time, so powerful. Many sculpt tools have these plus and minus buttons that indicate if you are adding or subtracting stuff. You can also hold control for the reverse effect on those brushes that have this plus and minus option. You can find more options for the brushes here at the active tool settings, like cursor color, fall off and what they affect. Smooth brush is perfect for smoothing your strokes and fills. This tool doesn't remove any points, it only makes them smoother. You can also do smoothing with other brushes when you hold shift while dragging. Thickness brush is good for tweaking your stroke thickness to get more stylized results. With the strength brush, you can tweak the strength of your strokes after drawing. Randomize does quick randomization of your fills and strokes. Grab brush, it does what it says. If you have a large brush size, you can place your cursor on the very edge of the drawing. And when you drag, you can make very subtle changes. Push brush is great for pushing, and it isn't like grab brush. Pushing also works from dragging far away. Playing with the strength will get you far. Twist is great for adding small waving to your animations, like walk cycles. Pinch brush is so much fun. You can pinch your drawings or hold control to deflate them. <laughs> for the clone brush, you need to go back into edit mode. Select the points that you want to clone, press ctrl C, go back to sculpt mode. Now you can make all the clones that you want. Hey, wait a minute. 